Beautiful, beautiful flower moth, guys. That's a big caterpillar right there, guys. Right in urban South Florida, guys. Look, this is a neighborhood right here. What a treat to see this beautiful moth, guys. Hey folks, David Fine here from Keys Moths. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I posted a video when I found some caterpillars of Shinia Gara, the uh, little pink flower moth in the Helothanine family, little Noctuid, beautiful caterpillar. Uh, that brought me to wonder, I wonder if we can actually go find some adults on the plants, on the flowering plants. So guys, literally this is Pompano Beach, Florida, middle of, I'm, I'm not kidding you, middle of urban uh, Broward County. This is like a storage unit. This is like middle of concrete jungle, guys. And behind me, I just drove by, literally just driving by, it's the first time I've ever stopped alongside of this road, I promise you. There's a field and it's full of gara, the host plant for our Shinia gara. Guys, I'm gonna go and see if we can find any caterpillars uh, or even any moths, adult moths, sitting on the flowers. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about Shinia gara, these beautiful Shinia moths, flower moths. I'm gonna show you why they're called flower moths. Guys, don't forget to like the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications. And uh, we're gonna go in this little vacant lot for moths. Let's check it out. Shinia Gara, one of the most beautiful little moths that is around, and we get to have them right in our backyard. Okay, folks, so what we're gonna do, literally, this is like somebody's neighborhood, so this is kind of a little a little weird. And I'm walking down, guys, look at this. This is nothing special about this habitat. This is literally about a half an acre of just weedy, grassy field. It's not very ma well maintained, there's garbage everywhere. And look, there's, this is ragweed. I'm actually allergic to the pollen and stuff. Um, and so I'm just gonna walk around with Alice Ioli, and I'm gonna look at some of the Gara plants because a couple weeks ago we found all those caterpillars. So guys, this is Gara right here, guys. Our um, this little spindly plant. Um, I'm gonna tell you more about it, but guys, we're gonna look and see if we can find any adults sitting on any of the flowers because uh, just like last video, here's a caterpillar, guys, right here. Shinia Gara caterpillar. We got another one right here. These are probably, looks like fourth instar. Um, I found out that they're not the easiest bugs to re rear. So we're actually going to see if we can um, find any larger caterpillars. And we're gonna see if we can find any adult moths. So let's see what we can find if we look around. It looks like a lot of these plants, the flowers have gone to seed. So there's not a whole lot of flowers. Guys, we're looking on the flowers of these plants for the moths. So let's see if we can find any uh, of the moths resting on the flowers. Here's the flowers, guys. Shinia flowers, or gara flowers. And they're sold as ornamentals. Uh, they look a little different than this, but it's a pretty cool little flower. Uh, it's a weed, so don't get me wrong. This is definitely a weed. And we are just gonna go around and see if we can find any caterpillars. There's a caterpillar here, guys. That's a big caterpillar right there, guys. That guy is end of final instar. He'll be making its pupa probably today or tomorrow. He'll go pre-pupal today or tomorrow. Big, big caterpillar, awesome bug. Awesome bug, guys. Whenever you're out, you always gotta be able to take a look at what all is in front of you. Guys, look at all the dainty sulfurs here in this field. I mean, I don't know if you can see them because they're so tiny, but there literally are thousands of these little dainty sulfurs. Oh, I'm, I'm watching them. Dainty sulfurs just fight with each other. Guys, they're all over this field, and it's a little pyrid, little sulfur, and they're flying around. They feed, guys, I'll show you what they feed on. 
These little guys right here, this is a female. Dainty sulfur. How close was she? Let me get her. She's broke. But guys, they feed. Their larval host plant is this guy right here, the bite. And they're all over this field, so. I mean, I haven't seen too many bugs here other than these two species. Uh, we got, well, we got a pyurid and we got this beautiful pink moth, so I'll take it. You always gotta just look and see what's in front of you. All right, guys, here's a caterpillar, early final instar. <clears throat> but that's not what we're looking for. We are looking for some adult moths. Oh, guys, check it out. Here's one right here, look. Look, 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 look. Beautiful, beautiful flower moth, guys. Look how well this moth camouflages with the flower. There it is, adult Shinia Gara, right there. Crimson uh, flower moth, guys. They rest on the flowers of their host plants. They are absolutely stunning creatures, to say the least. They're tiny, less than an inch wingspan less than an inch and uh let's see if i can get my fingers kind of close to the sky there it is shiniagara that's a stunning stunning moth right there guys beautiful all right let's see if we can find some more Check it out. Shiniagara, there's a pear right on this flower right here, guys. Look how beautiful these guys are. Literally, my hand is on this twig, so they're super docile. Guys, look at how beautiful they are. Beautiful pear. What a treat to see this beautiful moth, guys. What a treat. Unbelievable how pretty these moths are. Look at the colors, guys. You can see the little difference between the male and the female. Got the ones got a little bit more yellowish in it. What a beautiful, stunning creature. Awesome. See how they blend? They camouflage perfectly in with the flower. I mean, they are not moving, guys. Like, literally, I'm holding this thing, and they are not moving. That is how they roll. Literally, right, right in urban South Florida, guys. Look, this is a neighborhood right here. There's a street. We got gara plants all over this little weedy field here. And this is it, guys, right there. Shinia gara, one of the most beautiful little moths that is around and we get to have them right in our backyard. So guys, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Look at these pink moths, it's so cool. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Um, we've got plenty of videos like this coming your way. In fact, I'm gonna do a Wacky Worms video on the species because uh, I wanna show you more about it. So um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click the bell for notifications because when you do, you'll get informed every time you see cool, we post good videos like this. Um, we have a website, www.keysmoths.com, where we're going to show you all about the butterflies and moths in the Florida Keys. 700 species, guys. Super cool. And uh, I'm enjoying South Florida, guys. How about you? Let's get out there, even in urban South Florida. This is like a warehouse right here. And enjoy South Florida. Guys, take care.